What should you do if she's talking to other men? So I got a uh, question from a viewer and I'm actually going to just go through his uh, question or the whole thing and then we'll go through the answer and my take on it. So he said, and I'm reading from my iPad behind this, uh, would like to get your opinion on this since you're a woman. I notice every girl I've gotten somewhat serious with always tells me she's speaking to someone else and asks me if it's okay. Which is kind of uh, a test in a way to see how you're going to react. And you're, the best reaction is, hey baby, you can talk to whoever you want. I don't care who pumps up the tires, but as long as I'm riding the bike. Wink. <laughs> so cheesy. But anyways, the, the, that's meant to be like, go ahead and, and talk to other guys if you feel like it. But I know you're coming home to me because I'm the best thing that's out there. So that's got to be your attitude. And when, you're, when it is your attitude with her, then you've got to just make it playful so it doesn't come across as arrogant or cocky, just playful and fun. And so that she knows that you've got the security of knowing that you don't care. Like she can talk to whoever she wants. You know that you're the best uh, catch that's available for her. And it, this is if you're not in a relationship. This is if you're courting. Like if, if you're in a relationship, total other ball game. You can ask me a question about that. But for now, I'm talking about if you're just getting to know someone or if you're just in the dating field right now. So then he carries on to say, um, an example is I've met a woman on Tinder. We've talked on and off for less than a month. However, she always complimented me on my looks. Well, that's good. That means she's attracted to you. Um, my one question about this is whether or not you've been talking like in person um, or online or by text or phone or what are you doing? Like, are you getting together? You should be getting together as soon as possible when you meet someone um, from a dating site. And let's see here. Dot, dot, dot. Um, her responses weren't that long and she'd take days to respond back. However, she hinted she was genuinely interested in me. Well, the my take on that part is believe what people show you. In other words, don't believe what people tell you, believe what they show you because actions speak louder than words. If she's not getting back to you very often or she's talking about talk, talking with other men, then her interest level is lower than, than yours is. And what could be happening is that she's either just sincerely not attracted to you, but she says she, she does find you attractive, uh, or you are chasing her too much and she is backing away. So you want to let her come to you most of the time, like 80, 20, you want to let the woman come to you 80% of the time for every, you know, 20% that you reach out to her. So always leave them wanting more, always leave them wanting more. All right. Then he goes on to say, I went on her Instagram one day to snoop around and found her, found out that in her bio, she has a boyfriend and she hasn't texted me back since. So uh, what that means is that either she had a boyfriend uh, before she was talking to you or she got one because she was talking to other guys and she was like playing the field until she figured out which one she actually wanted to be with. And you didn't make the cut either because you were chasing too much or turning her off by acting needy or that it was just really never there. But the fact that she said that she did think you were good looking um, probably shows that you were over pursuing. So what else? All this happened in June until July. Almost all my relationships have ended with the woman finding someone else or coming clean that they're talking to another man when it's somewhat serious, meaning more than a friendship, but not yet a relationship. Okay. So that's, that's the key here is that you are working yourself into the friend zone. Like you, what you need to be doing with women is, uh, building attraction and escalating. And if you, I don't know if this person is, if they're sleeping together or had been, I suspect not, but um, that's the key. Like you need to get to the physical sooner than later, but by her chasing you and by you acting like a man, because she's going to go naturally gravitate towards whoever's the most alpha. And if this other guy who she's with is alpha, then that's probably the big reason why she's with him and not you. Sorry. Uh, I need your take on this. I've come to the conclusion that I'm being used as a decoy in that she practices on me and sees how I respond so she knows what to do and say to the guys she's actually interested in. Um, no, women are not that cagey. I know it seems like we are, but we're really not, maybe on a subconscious level. But the reality is, is that um, if someone's actually interested in you and they get turned off, if a woman is interested in a man and a woman gets turned off, it's probably because the man became the woman in the relationship by over pursuing or acting needy. So you definitely don't wanna do that. The thing that can happen is that 
she will lose interest by your actions. So it takes women longer to become attached. Like men, they are very visual, right? Like you guys are visual. And so when you see someone, you pretty much know right away if you want to pursue something with her, whether it's just physical or a potential for a relationship. Whereas women take much longer to decide if they want to have any kind of relationship with you. Unless they hoe at the bar at the end of the night, and they're kind of drunk and the lights haven't gone on yet. But that was really bad. I'm probably gonna get flack for that. And you know, hoes need love too. Hoes need love too. Nothing wrong with that. There's men hoes as well. Yeah, I don't think any feminists are gonna watch that part anyway, so. But anyway, um, if you are a hoe at the bar at the end of the night and you just wanna get laid, happy trolling. But if you actually want a relationship, that's probably not the way to start it. Hope this video helped. And if you have any other questions or have a situation, please write it in the comments of the video notes and I will reply. And thanks for being here as well. Um, just to mention my Wake Up To Love course where I'm gonna give you all the details on how to be the kind of man you really wanna be to get the kind of woman you really wanna get. So um, have a look at that. I will put a link below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And people walking by. Hello, people walking by. <laughs> I'll just wait for one minute. The only thing that can happen <laughs> is that you get a lot of people in the background on a video you're trying to do. Strategic, fuck. Like, it... seriously?